Hello everyone. If you're a beginner in Unity and don't know how to switch between scenes, I'll show you quickly. First, we set up a simple scene. To do this right-click in the project panel and select Create Greater Than Scene. Congratulations, we've successfully created a new scene. Now, let's give it a name so we can easily identify it later. Quickly make a couple of adjustments to our scene to set things up properly. Now, let's switch back to our menu scene from the scene panel below. Let me show you how to switch between scenes in just a few simple steps in Unity. First, we need to include the Senna Management Library to handle scene transitions. At the top of your script, next, we'll create a function that will handle the scene transition. This function will be triggered by a UI button event in Unity. Since we only need this function, I've removed any unnecessary code to keep things clean. Here's how it looks. This function will take a string parameter, which will be the name of the scene we want to load. If the string matches the name of a scene in our project, Unity will load that scene. Here's how it works. Co-write. Now let's test it. In order to attach our script to the scene, we need to create a game object. Simply right-click in the hierarchy, select Create Empty, and name it something like to Controller. Then, drag and drop our script onto this game object. Now for the final step triggering our function. Go to the button in the inspector. Scroll down to the onclick section. Click plus add. And drag the game object with our script into the slot. Then, select our scene changing function from the drop down and enter the name of the scene we want to load. For the code to work properly, we need to add our scenes to the build settings. Go to file greater than build settings. Then click Add Open Scenes to include the scenes you want to switch between. If a scene isn't added here, Unity won't be able to load it, and you'll run into an error. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Unity tips.